Hello there, YouTubers. Welcome to Infinite Lagrange. It's a mobile game which I've been playing. I haven't made YouTube videos in a while, I know, I know. But this game's got me a little bit addicted and I love it. Alright, when you're starting out, you'll be in a little outpost like this here. And what you need to do is to get your tiny miner. Uh, you right click one of these guys, not the level 5s, not the level 4s, since that's your starting. You'll be going in one of these, a level 2 metal zone. And for example, let's just real quick do this quick. Alright, you click on this guy. You, uh, actually, give me a moment. Let's go another area. Here. Alright, this guy, Space Dust, this is what exactly you start next to. So you go click Mine. You, you'll need an operation in order to do stuff inside. Operations are like um, areas of command. So, new operation, yeah. operation now is created, so we can now send the little guy. Armed and ready. And now it's mining the Space Dust. Yes. And, you can also transfer fleets that already exist. Um, it will tell you the time down here. I've sent my fleets over here for a secret mission, but yeah. And uh, that will transfer it and put it in this spot here. And it will just vibe the block. Um, you don't need to worry about this yet until you reach zone A. Now, zones. Um, this guy's going to be terrible, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, zones are areas of unlock, so I'm trying to remember what zone do you actually get the ability to command. Yes, at zone 5, sorry, zone 8 is not the zone you get it. At zone 5 you start the, to get the command to get blockades and that, and secret command. Now you'll start out with zone 1, you'll have the fleet command center. Yeah, you'll need to upgrade these uh, districts, preferably the districts that allow you to upgrade to the next zone. So, I can't show you here since I'm already at zone A, but I can show you my next step, what I need to do. So, you click here where it says expand, and then you'll see what you need to, be, uh, to expand. So, you'll need a military port 3 uh, to level 5 and a advanced warehouse to level 3. So that's good to know. And that's how you upgrade your base. Um, the resource collection earlier was to help you with this. So you need to upgrade your resources. So this operation is what I made, what I'm mining in. Let me real quick Carol, cancel the fleet. To cancel the fleet from its operations, you click here, and click can uh, enable that cancel and bring it back. That will cancel the operation and, and bring it back. Sometimes you do not want to cancel the operation, so unclick that check that was there earlier. Now this is an existing operation, which I've got. Over here you can see how much it's producing per hour, which means uh, operation yield, which is um, going to give you more operation yields once you got these operations and minings up and running. It doesn't really matter in terms of what level miner you got. But it's best to have a larger tier of miner since they can carry more and mine faster. These are your blueprints. Blueprints. At the beginning, you start with this guy. This guy's pretty good. I ignored the other two types and focused on one type in terms of upgrading. And the sad thing is, is I don't use this guy anymore. I might use him later on, but not now. Let me explain this real quick. Tech points are what you get from leveling it up and uh, up researching in the crates. I'll explain about that later. Um, so, with these points, you can also upgrade the sp specific systems here. So, you can increase the HP, increase the physical resistance, all these statistics. I'm just doing a quick guide, real quick. Well, it's going to be long, but it's going to be quick at the same time. Right, the combat rules here, it will explain each one and how it's good at. This is low cost, meaning it's a grade A strategic. 
And the, here is the uh, tabs that you should pay attention to, which mainly helps me. It's a middle row and it's a generic type, so it's not really good and focused. It's generic, probably designed for rapid warfare, but not really good. Basic stats. This is the production info of how much it's going to be produced and how many minutes it's going to take. Armor. Uh, sorry, no. Health. Armor. The cruising speed of which it just goes vibing from point to point. And this is going to be warp speed where it's going to jump from point to point. Which is much faster. Anti-ship fire, which is a ship against another ship. Anti-air defense is basically against aircraft. I'll show you an aircraft example in a minute. And siege fire, which is against bases like outposts, cities, and um, bases. That's it. Now, aircraft. These are the aircraft. There's fighters and corvettes. I'm not sure what the difference is, but this blueprint I have it slaps. It just slaps me. Um, so, yeah, this is an aircraft. It goes in a carrier or anything that can carry it. You and not deploy any aircraft without carriers. Or the aircraft types. You need an air, for example, you need a guy with an aircraft type in order to carry it, so it's good. Aircraft type. With this, you see Corvette maintenance system, click on that, and I'll show you the Corvette mounting dock, which allows you to carry it. You'll need an aircraft type blueprint in order to carry the fighters. I'm sad because I have all of these carrier uh, all of these fighters and barely any big boy carriers. These are cruisers, they're pretty nice. They nerfed my boy though. 150 to 50 armor. Oh, sad times. Anyway, losing track. Um, here's the utility ships. As your miners mine, you go here, increase the speed of the mining. You know, upgrade them. I, I've gone for storage for some odd reason. And this blueprint's pretty much maxed out. I can't max it out anymore. There's also liveries which you can buy for a lot of money, but I, I don't have any of that. Sorry, real quick. Okay, never mind. Okay, here comes the research part that I was talking about. Here is the research. It's where you get your blueprints. So let's open the guy up. We push it down. Let's hope I get lucky. Since I'm making a guide, I should get lucky. No, I did not. But here you do your research, you get these little components. Oh, well, I'll explain what these components do as well. Uh, research points are valuable. Every 15, you get a free chest which has a guaranteed blueprint. And this is how you get more tech points. So you. The, this is a destroyer tech point, so one of these gets it. I want the weak hazard to get it. And that will open up in an hour. There's the Dawn funding scheme. I recommend to save up these guys, save it up to a, a thousand, and then invest in the biggest for Dawn financial plan. You'll get 300, uh, 3,200 proximity back, which means you can spend every month 2,200 2, proximity. Save a thousand for the next one. So. What I recommend as well is to wait till day 20 and stop spending after day 20 and wait for the proximity to roll in. There's also quests which will give you some resources that you need to upgrade your base and sorry missions, main missions, quests are here and rally attacks by your brothers. The events here, Dawn documentary and this stuff and the you know strength about unity quest which is, must complete if you're a union. Gives you a lot of proximity. Anyway, now on to. What was I gonna go on? Research, tech points, tech points. Oh, yeah, blueprint technology, yes. Um, what that basically means is we're gonna go back on this bad boy here. And we're going to go into its weapons, or we click on Enhance and Weapon Adjustment. Since I already maxed this weapon out, it will be fine. But you can increase the anti-ship attack by upgrading it with tech points. I'll show you an example now. Let's go for my big boy, Casso. Come on, big boy. 
weapon adjustment. Octa fire torpedo launcher. We will get one of these. Click on this. Press that. And if it's successful, it will increase the anti ship attack and make the thing better and more effective at, at being a murderer. Anyway, uh, the point of the point after all of that, after all of those basics, is to capture these cities, capture all of them, conquer every single one of them, and conquer the sun as well. I think I, I don't know what to do with the sun. Uh, yeah, that's it. Goodbye. Very basic guide. I'm very stupid. If you've got any questions, ask them below, and I'll answer them later. Goodbye.